There are two reasons why I consider this the best online business to start as a beginner. One, it is obviously beginner friendly, which simply means that it is easy for someone with no experience to start. Two, it is a growing industry, which means demand is high right now and there's a short supply of people who can meet this demand. As such, those who've started or are about to start this online business have an opportunity to make a lot of money. Now, if you are ready to take advantage of this business idea, please hit the like button for this video and let's get started. Knowing how to evaluate an online business idea for beginner friendliness will help you avoid common mistakes that many beginners make when starting an online business. In fact, according to research, 80 to 90% of businesses fail and starting the wrong business is one of the many reasons why that happens. First of all, most beginners try to start making money online with affiliate marketing, drop shipping, or selling digital products but they never take the time to learn and understand what a good online business idea looks like. Now, this is not me saying that these businesses don't work. In fact, you can make a lot of money doing affiliate marketing, drop shipping, and the rest. It's just that some of these online businesses are so complex, making it tough for a beginner to succeed. You don't just look at popularity when evaluating a business idea. You look at demand, startup capital, profit margins, and fulfillment. Demand is the need or desire for a product or service. Are people in need of a service or product and are they willing to pay for it? Startup capital is obviously how much money you will need to successfully get started. Profit margin is the amount of revenue your business will generate minus expenses. Now, fulfillment is the process of delivering what you've promised to the customer. Are you able to successfully deliver what you promise? You know, the fastest way to fail as an entrepreneur is to not meet your client's expectations. Now, in this video, I'm talking about a service-based online business that clients are willing to pay handsomely for. It is ideal for beginners because it requires little to no capital and is quite easy to grow. Additionally, it has the potential to make you rich as you can easily charge between $50 to $200 per hour, yielding significant profits due to the low cost of running the business, especially if you are a one-man show. You can also cultivate a long-term relationship with your clients and earn recurring income by charging a monthly retainer between $500 to $2,000 for basic services. Obviously, you can charge more for comprehensive packages. Ladies and gentlemen, the best online business to start as a beginner is social media marketing. The rise of social media platforms like Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube has changed the business landscape, forcing many businesses to build an online presence to identify and engage potential customers. Everybody is on social media nowadays, making it the best place to get customers. Also, don't forget how COVID affected businesses without an online presence. So basically, Brands want to build an online presence and increase sales or get more clients and that is where social media marketing comes in. Since social media platforms are new and always changing, most people don't know how to use them correctly to increase brand visibility and grow their business or they simply don't have the time to. So they employ the services of a social media marketer. Each brand has unique needs and social media marketers have different specialties. But the work includes helping brands set up social media accounts, creating engaging content, assessing analytics to understand audience behavior, and developing strategies to increase reach and engagement. Some social media marketers specialize in setting up and managing campaigns like Google Ads, Facebook Ads, etc., as well as staying up to date with social media trends to ensure brands are always ahead of the curve. More businesses around the world are investing in social media marketing to expand their reach. In fact, there may be countless local businesses around where you live eagerly looking for someone to help them set up their social media accounts, create promotional content, or run ads for them. Some brands may not even realize they need this service but they will readily embrace the idea once they understand its benefits. This demand creates a massive opportunity for you and other aspiring social media marketers. Now, here's how to get started and land clients. By the way, if this video is being useful, 
please hit the like button down below and i will really appreciate it also remember to subscribe for more content like this the first step is to choose a business name you can pick any name any word or initials remember there is no perfect name so don't get too hung up on this once you have a name buy a domain for your online business then create a business email you can use cheap domain registrars like bluehost godaddy or namecheap where you'll only spend a few dollars and get yourself a good internet connection and that's literally all the startup costs buying a domain and creating a business email not only enhances your credibility but also presents a more professional image a brand is more likely to read an email from togamba at tesogamba.com than togamba at gmail.com it's now time to define your niche in social media marketing this step is crucial because choosing the right niche can make getting clients significantly easier you also have to ensure your potential clients have the financial capacity to pay for your services in other words you should target businesses or brands that are already generating substantial income. I'm talking about real estate, solar panel companies, emerging technologies, tech firms, law firms, financial services, and many more. Also, choose a niche you are conversant with, where you can speak the language and build trust quickly. You can't target real estate when you don't know anything about real estate. And this is not me saying that you need an educational background in your niche of interest. You just need to have some basic knowledge about it. The initial setup is done. Now let's get you your first client. There are two ways to get social media marketing clients. The first one is physically going to local businesses in your local area and pitching your services. This is straightforward. Simply identify a business that fits your profile, do some research, prepare a pitch for them, and then walk in and tell them what you can do for them and what they will gain. The second one is finding your clients online using Google search, Google Maps, Instagram, or LinkedIn. So, if your target is let's say clothing brands, simply Google clothing brands near me or something like that and their business listings will pop up, if any. Visit their brand's website and look for contact details of relevant personnel, ideally the person in charge of marketing. If that doesn't work, visit the brand's LinkedIn page and check out the employee's profiles. This is the easiest way to find the right person to contact. Now you can either get the person's contact details from their profile or message them directly if you can. If that doesn't work, check out the store's address on Google Maps and go in person. And if you're being honest, you don't even need to do all this. You can just find social media marketing job listings online and directly contact the businesses. I have seen so many companies advertising social media marketing positions. This is another straightforward way to find brands that are desperate for your services. You can also follow potential clients on Instagram. The beauty of Instagram is it will automatically suggest similar accounts for you to follow. Once you've identified brands that could use your services, simply send them a DM or grab their email address from their profile and sell a well-crafted pitch. Joining Facebook groups related to the services you offer such as Facebook ad buyers or SEO ninjas may be an effective way of landing your first client. When reaching out to brands or potential clients, tailor your pitch to the client's needs. Please do not reuse previous emails or pitches or messages. The pitch should include the problem you've identified, your proposed solution, and the benefit to the business. Then provide a straightforward way for them to schedule a meeting with you. Keep your emails or DMs short and straight to the point. Emphasize on how you can help them. If you have a contact number, don't hesitate to pick up the phone and call them. A direct call can be the quickest way to get a response or you can send them an email or a dm and follow up with a phone call that is if you have access to their contact details and if they allow phone calls as you approach your clients keep in mind that the goal is to make a connection understand their needs and present your services as the solution be friendly professional and patient sales is about building relationships not just closing deals so how do you charge your clients as a beginner social media marketer first you need to do your research look at job postings freelance platforms and relevant forums to get an idea of the going rate for social media marketing services in your niche consider factors like the complexity of the services you are offering the size of the client's business and the expected outcomes what are you promising them 
is it convenience or more money also decide on whether you'll be charging per hour per project or on a monthly retainer basis as a beginner you might start with slightly lower rates to attract your first few clients but make sure you are not undervaluing your work or your time once you've established a record of successful campaigns you can adjust your pricing to reflect your growing expertise and the value you add to your clients and don't forget that the return on investment your services provide will justify your rates to potential clients, especially if you specialize in marketing campaigns. As a solopreneur, you can start by handling projects yourself, but as you scale up, you can hire others to do the work for you. You can look for subcontractors on Upwork, Fiverr, and all that. This will allow you to take on more clients, make more money, and grow your business. The key here is to monitor the quality of work and ensure that the services your people deliver meet your standards and clients' expectations.